start talking about the topic we are going to talk about let me just share my own experiences about my own journey i was born in a family of uh, non musicians so you can say that i do not there's nobody who sings in the family but ever since i remember i was always singing and dancing that's my first memory that i have and uh, throughout my learning of indian classical music all forms of music throughout my process of learning the curriculum my studies my education there was one thing that that stuck with me i was so drawn to the traditional songs being sung by my grandmother at home my taiji at home and somewhere a child in me would sit down take out time spend more time with my taiji my chaki and would insist on understanding what she was singing and i remember everybody said that she there is a grandmother in the she is a young baby but uh, maybe a grandmother is in the role of a young baby because how can a 12 year old girl is so interested in what grandmothers are singing because for them it was so boring so uninteresting and believe me when i say this that all my cousin my elder sisters um, really felt that these songs were so uh, colorless meaningless obsolete and there i was so maybe i am a very old soul who knows but i definitely recognized the soul of india that i was discovering through those songs and thank god it stayed with me it stayed with me because i feel that you know what kind of artist do i want to become what is it that i want to do what is my purpose of life to do and you know in india music is a spiritual medium of self discovery of singing for him and i told myself first we have to celebrate our culture our traditions our community our society we have to celebrate the stories that have kept us together for thousands of years and why nobody is talking about it because these songs are uh, lived experiences of generations before us reminded us who we are and the strength of these songs is the topic that you asked me to talk about today how each and every person of the family and the community is made to feel so special in these songs have you noticed there is not even one function one festival which is not dedicated to a brother to a sister or ceremonies marital ceremonies and if you have special respect for the brother for your phupha for your bua or your dadi all songs are about it there 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 is a sohag song we sing sohag bare se banni tore anganwa sohag bare se banni tore anganwa dadi ke angna सुहाग बनी मांगे बुआ के अंगना एंड यू नो हाउ इट हैपेंस वी जस्ट गेट देम ऑन स्टेज टू डांस एंड दे कम ऑन स्टेज द ओल्ड दादी से कम दैट जब फेरे लेते तो हमारे यहां क्या गाते हैं पहली भवरिया घूमत बाबा अब ही तुहारी लावा डारो रे भैया लावा डारो रे भैया अरे दूसरी भवरिया घूमत बाबा अब ही तुहारी लावा डारो रे भैया आई स्टिल बिलोंग टू योर माई फादर एंड मूव अरे चौथी भवरिया घूमत बाबा अरे भैली पराई लावा डारो रे भैया 
lavadaruri now i am going but my brother this relationship this bond should maintain the way it is so our songs are all about celebrating relationships and this is how and this is why we say they have a universal language i will sing a song kahe ko byahi videsh it's a very famous song by khusro now imagine this song we have a historical uh, evidence that this was created 700 years ago imagine india has changed in last 50 years 75 years 700 years ago khusro imagines a girl is getting married and when she is getting married she is leaving a father's house what is she saying she is questioning her father kahe ko byahi videsh are lakhiya babur mohe kahe ko byahi videsh we are very special we are uh, today we are celebrating girl child and what the girl is saying 700 years ago hum to babul tori bagiya ki kaliya ha are ghar ghar mangi jaye are lakhiya babul mohe kahe ko byahi videsh why did you marry me on far off भैया को दीन हो बाबू महला दू महला भैया को दीन हो बाबू महला दू महला अरे हम कम दीनों पर देश अरे लखिया बाबू मुँह kahe ko byahi videsh seven hundred years and nothing much has changed despite supreme court very categorically saying do not differentiate girls and boys both girl child male child have equal rights and property and everything but that discrimination continues the girl leaves it is universal a uh, story everywhere and even today when you listen to this song who can even think that this was created 700 years ago and imagine 700 years ago the girl had guts not she is not questioning a mother she is questioning a father what an empowered bold strong now just listen to this song and just worship the power of the emotion because Uh, when i say this i am so full of um, um respect of our civilization and our uh, mothers why i am saying this i'll come back to that listen to the song the song says baba sagari chiraiya uri jai hai baba sagari chiraiya रही जय है निमिया के बलिया ले की बाबा निमिया के पेड़ जन काटी ओ बाबुल निमिया पे चिड़ैया के बसेर बलिया ले my father promise me you will take care of this tree and promise me that this tree will remain because if you will cut the tree if you will chop off the tree where will the birds go and if the birds vanish what is the point of the tree and what she is talking about the ecosystem she is talking about conservation of nature 
which the western world is telling us protect nature environment our folk songs have been telling us for centuries because we have to coexist together we have survived because we have worship sun water rivers everything and there this girl is saying you know metaphorically she is saying i am leaving this house but take care of this tree i am leaving i don't want the birds to also you know what you say the ashiana ghosla i am losing mine i don't want the birds to lose out on that nest what a beautiful comparison what a beautiful metaphor to be used and the message is protect environment protect trees these songs were never recorded never professionally done these songs were immortalized here here not even in diaries and sadly there came a generation post 80s which started discarding everything uh, that our uh, knowledge tradition had to offer they started uh, disowning it they wanted to get become modern and what was modernity they had no idea so the net result was dholak khuti patang gayi jo gaati thi bua ka ki unko gaon mein chhod kar aap shehar aa gaye aaj sthiti hai ki shaadi mein aapko rasme janne ke liye lagta hai wo chaachi ko bulao zara shaadi hai you because you are selfish now you want her your job is such it has uh, uh, the biggest uh, i would say uh, impact that it has had is disintegration of joint families children don't get to live stay with their grandmothers they don't get to listen to the folk story these are folk stories only that i'm singing folk tales folk stories and because of this what has happened that a new market see market and demand will always be there the commercialized market when it came it came with its all its mud and kachra and crass and it was so bad it was so bad that people started identifying oh this is folk folk means oh you know in olden days india people were so uncivilized you know and uh, this is how they used to keep happy they used to just sing songs and they were means to just entertain themselves i mean this is the poorest this is the crudest form how you can talk and describe such a beautiful and powerful rendition of indian folk traditions if this is what you think of folk and half of the women don't know what to do with their lives but back then we have naktora or jaga every seventh day every tenth day there was a family gathering celebration where everybody would get together and sing song now where did these songs came from they came from personal experiences if a girl is saying are saiya mile lad kaiya main ka karu it is such a strong statement she is complaining about her husband and how wickedly but how beautifully bar baras ki main vyah ke aayi saiya chal paiya paiya main ka karu pandra baras ki main gaune pe aayi saiya udave kan kaiya main ka karu what to do he doesn't understand not that she is older than him what she wants to say he is still a child we have been married but he doesn't understand so labaras muri bali umariya saiya chhodave mose baiya main ka karu such bold expression of love today if a girl proposes to any boy she is considered to be very it's considered to be very cool wow a girl is proposed look at this i don't know how old is this song but the girl says sola baras muri bali umariya saiya chhodave mose baiya and she is singing in public look at him he doesn't care he doesn't understand the language of love and i want to hold him and he is running away and where is the climax bis baras ki mai hone ko aayi 
सैया पुकार मैया मैया मैं का करूं सैया पुकार मैया मैया नाउ दिस इज अ यूनिवर्सल स्टोरी ऑल डॉटर इन लॉज ऑल वाइफ्स एंड अप क्रिबिंग द सेम योर मामाज बॉय सैया पुकार मैया मैया मैं का करूं आई एम एजिंग आई एम गेटिंग ओल्ड बट ही स्टॉप ही रिफ्यूजेस टू ग्रो इज स्टिल अ बेबी 20 साल के लिए तो भी मम्मी कहते मामाज बॉय सी इट्स अ यूनिवर्सल Uh, language wherever you go you speak to i think everybody relates to this because it's a lived experience again but in our house i think everybody will vouch for this that if you look at your history your families i'm sure you will remember that there was always one lady figure in your family who was taking care of house your dadi or nani or some bua how house will run she will have the keys of uh, you know rasoi and even spending kahan shaadi mein kisko kya dena the women who who are calling the shots it was always like this the washerman community they sing sing these songs and in the middle of the song they uh, improvise the crowd sings chiyo ram chiyo chiyo ram chiyo chiyo ram chiyo ram chiyo ram chiyo now what is this and i realize when they sing अरे निमिया पे कौड़िया तो वही निकला गए जब निम कौरी हो इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि नीम तभी फायदा करती जब कड़वी होती बढ़िया बड़ा था तो वही निकला गए जब धोबे बगुला के पाक बगुला के पंख जैसे जब सफेद हो तभी बढ़िया बड़े था गाने के बीच में आता है पा... अरे बढ़िया बड़ा इठा तो वही निकला गए जब धोबे बगुला के पाक के मालिक जब धोवे बगुला के पाक छियो राम छियो छियो राम छियो छियो राम छियो राम छियो राम चादर कपड़े को घाट पे पछोरने के लिए ताकत लगती है और दुनिया का मेला धोने से ज्यादा काम किस तरह का हो सकता है छियो राम सास छियो राम छियो Chiyo, and now it is a part. It has become part of composition. But how it came into practice? It was an experience. It came because it was a necessity. वो वहीं सांस लेते हैं हूँ ऐसे आप देखें कहाँ भी कहते हैं हूँ ना हूँ 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 ना हूँ 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 ना हूँ 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 ना हूँ हूँ ये बंगाल की कहार की बहुत पुरानी धुन है डोली में कहार सजनी का पार चलो रे कहार चलो चलो रे कहार हुम हुम ना हुम 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 क्योंकि वो सांस ऐसे ही लेकर चल पाते हैं ये सारी चीजें दे रियली नीड टू बी अंडरस्टूड इन द परस्पेक्टिव करेक्ट ट्रू परस्पेक्टिव एंड देन वी विल कम टू रियलाइज वी आर वी हैव इनहेरिटेड सच अ पावरफुल कल्चरल सिविलाइजेशन दैट वी आर पार्ट ऑफ वी ऑल नीड टू बी सो प्राउड Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>